Hello everyone and welcome to Slim Pass Cuisine. My name is Harper, if you did not know, and the door is opening. And it's okay, and now it's closing. And today I decided to continue the taste testing and also reviewing a meal or a dish or whatever that is from the freezer aisle of my grocery store. And today will be the DiGiorno, oh gosh, I don't know what it's called, the crispy pan plate, blah 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 blah, thing DiGiorno. Now, I'm not sure if you've seen this commercial, but I bet you have because you're on the internet, but there was this commercial a couple of weeks, months ago, maybe a year ago actually, where they were promoing this like insanely. It was everywhere. It was like the ba 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 with like, I think it was Beethoven. I'm actually going to try to find the actual like song. I think it's like Beethoven's Ninth Symphony or something symphony. I took orchestra for 10 years, not 10 years, more like seven, eight. I should know these things, but I don't. More or less, if I can find the song and if I think it is copyright free, if it is, I'll have it playing during this video the whole time, even though it's completely the wrong mood setting, but it's okay. Okay, uh, but more or less, it was everywhere and it won, it beat me, I am taking the challenge, I am being brainwashed by the commercial by buying this pizza. It was like $9, it was like eight thirty something, but plus tax, almost $9. That's not okay, so this better be really, really good because it's not a big pizza. So, more or less, it is out of the oven, it is going to be cooling down for quite a while, and then I'm going to see number one, does it look cute like this box? Number two, does it actually taste really good? And finally, number three, would I actually buy it again? Is it worth me eating it all and then buying it again? Probably eating all part because I haven't had anything since yesterday, but is it actually worth me buying it again? And those are the three criteria that I will be basing my review on. So with that, let us actually get on with the actual taste testing and review. So here we go, here's the finished product. It has cooled down a little bit. It's still quite hot, but it hopefully won't kill me. Um, as you can probably we see it looks pretty nice it actually kind of looks better than the box the box kind of looks like the um, pizzas are cooked this looks a little bit crispier I really like it nicer there is a little burn pieces right here from the cheese but the actual pizza and sides do not look that have been burnt at all so we're gonna just cut into this very quickly and then try it out honestly I think when it comes to the first uh, judgment as we have discussed before I think it is uh, past the does it look nice. I'm gonna actually use not a knife because I'm hope yeah. I'm not gonna use a knife. One second. Actually, I am gonna use a knife. I'm just going to put the pizza on something that will not be cut through so easily. So this is gonna be fun. I just cut it kind of. So let's do that. Oh, that was easy, just like in the the trailer. Yay! If I actually had the insight, I would actually even show you that bit, but I don't want to get yelled at. So, oh god, we just cut through this really easily. Oh, that looks nice, that nice uh, crunching sound. It smells really good. Uh, this is just, of course, the pepperoni and cheese, so nothing fancy. As you can probably see, I'm great at cutting pizza. It's a whole slant, oh god. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this one, this one. <sighs> Why can't this work? Actually, that worked really well. It just hurts a lot when I do that. Okay, I'm just gonna cut three pieces because that was way too much work. Okay, so let us try out. I'm gonna try this one out first because it's like the cutest but also the smallest part. Honestly, it looks pretty nice. You know, it's cooked all the way nicely. The, the, the bottom of it's not burnt. It's a little bit crispy, so that's really nice. So let's try it out. I kind of have a feeling how this is going to go, but I'm going to try one more piece just in case. I don't want to like, you know, maybe that piece was just an anomaly, so we're going to try out one more just in case. I've eaten two pieces. Well, a little bit left, but we're okay with that. I'm going to talk about this pizza because I do have my thoughts right up front. Number one not enough pepperoni. Now, I think they did a pretty good job with it, but I wish they had a couple more pieces. I would say like maybe like five more, it would be really great. After the pepperoni is done, the pizza then has to rely on the cheese, the dough, and the sauce. Now, cheese and sauce, they don't taste bad, they don't taste, you know, they actually taste pretty good, but there is not enough, 
especially when the sauce comes. There's only a very, very thin layer, literally barely any. If you can probably see it right here, there's barely any. And that makes a huge difference because with that and the cheese, it's actually pretty good when it comes to, you know, the amount. But because it is so thick, the actual pizza, because there's not a lot of toppings, you have to really, really thin rely on the dough itself. And the dough, sorry about that, my phone just went off. And with that being said, the dough isn't that. It's not bad, but it's not really that good. And when all the toppings and everything else kind of, you could say, deteriorates and disintegrates because you've eaten it all, it really makes a difference because it, the pizza becomes kind of to blend because the dough just cannot support everything else. Also, it's not as crispy as I wanted it to be. I think I wish it to be a tiny bit more crispier and a little bit more flavorful and that could make a huge difference. A little bit more pepperoni, a little bit more sauce, a tiny bit more cheese, more flavorful actual dough, and this could be a rock solid pizza. I do not think it is worth 8, 39 or whatever. I think it definitely is worth like six, seven. That would be a good price. But you know, this is DiGiorno. It's supposed to be the best DiGiorno. Don't take out whatever. Take out. I'm not sure the, the um, motto. It's something. I think that either a little bit more of the toppings or because it is, you know, a little overflowing right now, not really, but I feel like you put a little bit more in my overflow, just making the pizza a tiny bit more thinner. This could be a really good pizza, but there are small issues with each and every layer of the quote unquote pizza, and that makes a huge difference. With that being said, I think that With that being said, I think that if I would make this, you know, a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being never again, I can't even eat it anymore, 10 being yes, I'll have it again, this is amazing, I want this every day, I would give this a 4.5. It's a tiny bit below average, especially with the price point. The price point just makes it a little bit more worse than it actually is. And that's really it. So that's my review of the DiGiorno crispy pan pizza. Honestly, it was an easy cook, so that was really nice. And, you know, if you're okay with having a slightly below average pizza for a slightly above average price, go for it. It's not that bad, but I honestly, I would have a different pizza than this if you're going to do that. But with that being said, that is the end of the video, so of course, if you like the video, just click like. If you want more from what, just subscribe. What other DiGiorno pizza should I review or taste test? I have had DiGiorno pizza in a really long time, so it would be really cool to taste test any other ones. And I have definitely not had any like um, meat pizzas because my family is vegetarian, so that would be fun to taste test. And that's really all, so comment below your suggestion, and I'll hopefully get it to as soon as possible. But with that being said, I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you next time, and as usual, goodbye!